The patient is a 63 years old male with squamous cell carcinoma of the oral pharynx. The endophytic tumor is in the left tonsillar fossa, extending towards the junction of the tongue base. Teeth protectors will be inserted and a retraction stitch will be placed through the midline of the tongue. With the patient positioned supine, a FKWO TORS retractor with left-sided TORS blade will be placed to expose the base of the tongue. Other appropriate mouth retractors can be used. Cheek retractors will then be inserted. The mouth retractor will be suspended on the Mayo stand. The Da Vinci Multiport SI and XI or Single Port SP robotic surgical system can be used depending on institutional availability. The resection margin, which is about several millimeters around the tumor, will be outlined with monopolar cautery. The inferior margin starts at the tongue base, extends anteriorly to the pterygomandibular raphae, superiorly to the junction of tonsil pillars and posteriorly at the posterior pharyngeal wall. The tumor will be removed along with the palatoglossus muscle, the palatopharyngeus muscle, and the superior constrictor muscle. Depending on the depth of the tumor, portions of the styloglossus muscle, stylopharyngeus muscle, and the distal glossopharyngeal nerve can be resected. Care is taken to not injure structures in the peripharyngeal space. The specimen will be removed. Routine neck dissection and ligation of external carotid artery branches will be performed to minimize post-operative bleeding. An FKWOTORS retractor frame is used for optimal transoral exposure. A fixed blade retracts the upper teeth and maxilla. The jaw spreader allows attachment of various tongue blades, each with distinct shapes and lengths, tailored for specific use cases. The amount of jaw retraction can be adjusted to provide exposure in the cranial caudal dimension. The angle and insertion depth of the tongue blade can also be adjusted, allowing optimal exposure of various anatomical structures in the upper aerodigestive tract. Cheek retractors can be attached to the frame. The angle of the blades can be adjusted on both sides to provide exposure in the medial lateral dimension. The patient is placed supine with slight head extension. A Mayo stand is placed on the left side of the patient at chest level. Teeth protectors are inserted and a stitch is made on the tongue to provide traction. A left-sided tongue blade is selected, which stretches the left glossotonsillar sulcus. In a closed position, the retractor is carefully inserted in the oral cavity. The jaw spreader is gradually opened while the angle of the tongue blade is adjusted for optimal exposure. The tongue blade is positioned strategically to ensure exposure of the tonsil tumor and healthy tissue around the tumor. Once in place, the frame is suspended and secured to a Mayo stand situated above the patient chest. The cheek retractor blades are then set in place for additional exposure. The Da Vinci SI will be positioned on the right side of the patient 45 degrees to the edge of the bed, where the XI will be positioned perpendicular to the bed. The camera cannula is placed in the central robotic arm. The 5 mm instrument cannulas are placed on the left and right arms. The remote center, indicated by the thick black band, is positioned 1 cm outside of the lip. The instrument is inserted into the cannula until articulating wrists are exposed. The camera is oriented so the controls are facing the robot and carefully inserted into the camera cannula. For tonsil tumors, 
the robotic arms are placed about 60 degrees from the horizontal plane. The first assistant will be positioned on the patient left side, opposite of the robot. The main surgeon will be operating via a console in the operating room. 